Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes. Back on it again. Gonna be doing some more stuffs and things. Because I know exactly what my plan is every time I play this game. I always have a plan. I probably should, but, uh, meh. <laughs> I guess is the, the word, meh. Um, yes. We are on our modded playthrough, season three. Yes. If you want to know what the, um, if you want to know what the mods are and or who makes the mods, um, that list is down in the description section. So do be sure to check it out if you play this game and you love playing with, or you would like to play with some mods. I also got the, um, the whatchamacallit, the uh, SMM, the Satisfactory Mod Manager download link there, um, down in the description section as well, so you can download, have a safe download and all that. Um, be sure to download it, you can get all the mods through the Satisfactory Mod Manager really quickly, really easily, everything works out great. It's actually pretty damn easy, <laughs> I was surprised how easy it was, um, because I used to mod for games way back in the day, and you had to move files constantly. It was a pain in the neck. Now it's no longer. Not with this game, anyway. So anyway, um, oh, uh, before I do forget, uh, let's hop into here real quick, so it's easy to see, I suppose. Um, we have unlocked some new features for our channel. Um, a few new features over in the Communities tab. So, uh, if you would like to check, check it out after the video, you can check it out right now, whenever you like. Um, definitely do decide to check that out, though, because we do got... Um, I decided as soon as I, I just unlocked it. Um, just unlocked the ability not very long ago. Uh, right after I unlocked it, I went ahead and got the... I went ahead and got the poll, or a poll started over in the Communities tab. So you can check that out here, over uh, from the main channel. Just click on or the Community tab, Communities tab, Community tab, whichever. And as you can see, there's a poll right there uh, regarding the Random Recipes mod. Since I'm still on the fence about it, not really sure. Um, and still not really sure. I'm going to let this poll go up all weekend, so don't worry, you got time. Um, as long as you watch this video before Monday, that is. Uh, but you got all weekend, um, if you want to go ahead and take part in the poll. And Monday will be the deciding factor whether we, um, get rid of the mod or we keep it. I thought, you know, instead of me deciding everything and always making all the decisions around here, why don't you guys put in some work and make some decisions? <laughs> I'm messing with you. I really am. Uh... So yeah, if you if you want to decide to take part in that poll over the weekend, and I'll uh, I'll announce obviously Monday on this game, um, on the Monday's episode of this game when it comes out, if uh, or what it is, I'll show that I'll show the results so that nobody feels like they're getting jipped um, if they were on one side or the other, and uh, we'll go ahead and um, do that so we'll either keep the mod or get rid of the mod and of course you know as you read there i was referring to the random recipes mod because that i don't know it's been extreme it's been incredibly incredibly annoying and um as one person pointed out you can also comment below that uh poll as well you can actually do that which i was surprised too because i i haven't done polls on youtube <laughs> i don't think i've ever made polls before other than these power polls of course um, but no, over on the internet, <laughs> I've never made any polls before, so it was uh, quite a surprise on how that all worked, but uh, uh, like I said, we had just unlocked the ability, I got a notification on my, uh, on my, in my notifications on YouTube saying we had unlocked that feature for the communities tab, so I just went ahead and immediately, like maybe five minutes later, made a poll on that, um, we are out of concrete. I'm also looking at, uh, you're, you're also seeing that image. Uh, that image was made quite a while ago, so um, nobody else has voted on it yet. That's what the results are now, so 
I was just like, meh, yeah, good thing. <laughs> I'll just grab, an, uh, grab a quick snippet of that uh, before I just decided to record for this, because you know I always record at least a day in advance, sometimes two days. It depends. Um, but, yeah, so I decided to grab a snippet of that and, and uh, show you guys exactly what I mean so you know where to look for. Like I said, it's right there on the channel, just uh, underneath the Communities tab. Um, as I get used to some, or get used to the features on the Communities tab, we'll start doing a little bit more in there, um, as well as eventually when I get around to it. Um, eventually, we will be getting the. Oops. Uh, we'll, we will be getting together um, the Discord server. Because the Discord server is up, it is online. It's just it's incredibly dead. There's not really any t any activity on it. So uh, when I feel it's ready, I'll go ahead and put that on the main channel's um, backsplash screen up there at the top, um, and that will show you, or that will give you a. It, it's a. It'll be a permanent link, so don't worry. It's not going to be limited or anything. I'm not. You know, I'm not exclusive like that. I'm not that good of a person to... I'm not that popular to actually exclude people. <laughs> Although, not that I want to. That sounds even worse. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that that's, that's all there is to it. I mean, if you want to take part in that, it's right there. So, yeah. Well, take part into your heart's content. I think you can only vote once, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can only vote once. Um, but I was just like, "Oh, that's a cool new feature." I thought it was new, new, but no, it's been around for a while. I'm pretty sure. It's just I just happened to unlock it. I don't know why we unlocked it. I'm not exactly sure. It wasn't because of subscriber count because there's there's some YouTubers that don't even have a communities tab on their channel, so <laughs> and they got way more subscribers than I do. So I don't know what. Um, what flick of a switch happens on happens at YouTube there where you get that unlocked for you, but I'm lucky to have it. So yeah, we'll load up our five car train here. I'm gonna take it down to the other end. So let's freaking go. So remember that these trains, even though it's just like, how do you have trains already? You don't even have, um, you don't even have the uh, space elevator belt. Uh, that's just because of the mod, but it's not, it's not entirely without, uh, what do you call it? It's not entirely without fault. Um, these trains, even though, yes, I do have the ability to build trains and it's, I'd say it's relatively cheap. It's pretty cheap, uh, to build these trains. These only go 25 kilometers an hour. That's the max. Uh, that's the max speed. Like say, I'm holding down W. That's the max speed. <laughs> so these trains are incredibly, incredibly slow. Just to kind of, I'm glad they they did that to kind of bring some balance to it. So yeah, even though yes, we are we do have trains early on and they're cheap. They're also incredibly slow. That's why they're called upgradable. They're upgradable trains where we can upgrade that later on with stuff. So don't worry. Oh yeah, it just fits underneath here. Oh look at this. It's like a real subway train where it just fits inside the tunnel. <laughs> Rocking back and forth. Go! Come on! Go! <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. This is insane. This, this train is so slow. <laughs> like, somebody freaking turn off the parking brake. <laughs> oh. Oh, I didn't go any further with the track. <laughs> I thought, never mind. Okay, well, that was fun. <laughs> uh, we need to go get screws. How much wire do we have? Okay, we do have screws. Um, so we have wire, we have screws, we have pl uh, reinforced plates, right? No, we... Oh, no. Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Just 
Wow. <laughs> that is the slowest train. I could probably get all the iron over there faster with belts. <laughs> but uh, I like the trains. Eventually the trains will the trains will outbeat the belts uh, in what we can have. So yeah, over here, if you remember from last time, we built this little platform over here. Well, this is a train station. I need to go and get stuff for mining as well. Well, yeah, we'll put that on the train station first because the train station does cost a lot. And yeah, we don't really have concrete at the moment. But this is just all for the iron train um, for now. I thought we ran out of power when we hit that end of that track there. It's not paying attention. Okay. So this is five across. Yeah, this is five across. Okay. So we can easily just just put a. I don't know. Should we put like a ramp or something? I mean, I know we got to get up there, but I'm wondering if we should have a permanent ramp or if we should build like a like a per. Wait, 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 wait. We got these. I really wish they had the ones without the 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 rails. The ones without rails would be incredibly useful here, because you, then you get to, then you get these ramps that go into the ground with with the railings, and that's yeah, fine. Probably should put some catwalks up here. We'll put a catwalk like this. There you go. Yeah, that ain't so bad. Okay, uh, you know that's fine. It's not it's not as bad as it looks. Okay. So, um, we need to get, what is it? It's, uh, one, two, three, four hooked up to this train station here. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is just because the amount of iron that we're eventually going to need, so you might as well hook it up now, right? See, the progressive trains, upgradable train stations. Uh, see, they start out... Non-upgraded non trains use 5 megawatts of power, uh, that's at max speed by the way, and have a max speed of 25 kilometers, so they're very, 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 very slow. So they're almost not worth it at this at this stage. But I'm going to be... Ah! That was a jump scare and a half, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought I was gonna. Ah, oh, fuck you. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe that got me. <laughs> now you're laughing at me. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> uh, I've no. I have not been gotten by a jump scare in a while. <laughs> Mainly because I haven't been looking for jump scares, but. Yeah, jeez, dude. He's fucking laughing about it. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Uh, two, three, four, five. Actually, I had one too many. That's right, though. Okay, since we've got four, we're going to have to combine at least two of them. It depends on which ones, uh, how much is here. Um, say we got imp here, so that's going to be, what, 30? 30, 60, those can be combined. 60, so that one, 60, 120. Yep, don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we got 120, and then we've got 60. We've got, yeah, normal, normal, so the, both of those are 60s, and then 
Uh, those are both one. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just have them import into the last last car here. All right, so we're going to go logistics. We're going to go um, conveyor splitter because we don't have the ports yet. So hold control. So then we're going to go like this. We're going to go one, two, three. And since I did three, I erased the metal one. And then bang. Okay. Even though we don't need Mark II's, those are the wrong Mark II's, by the way. Okay. And I actually could... Wait. Why can't I put this next to... actually could do this. Yeah, these were these were okay, but eh, right now. That's a little better. Whatever. Alright. So then, um, what? What am I having trouble with here? Something weird is happening. I don't like it. I mean, I know it's, uh, Spooktober and all. Like, what? Um, okay, you know, that's, that works. I'm actually going to do this. Oh, and I don't have, um... Dang it. I don't have any biofuel. I do have some concrete. I suppose I could waste a little bit. Um, or I can make some biofuel, I mean. Yeah, this stuff's very expensive. There. there we go. Okay. That should be all that's needed. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then we can lift up... Um, can lift up in, into it. We're going to take our conveyor lift. I'm going to do the uh, hooded one. Uh, hooded lift. Because that's the one with the stretchy. The stretchy thing. And then we'll go like this. Oh, whoops. It's one, is it? It's one, two, isn't it? Or is it one, two, three? I can't remember. I love the smart mod. I was able to see that without having to back up and trying to figure out. Alright, and then mark two. directly connect to that. Look at that. And it doesn't look too bad. I'm okay with these Mark IIs. Yep. Those are both Mark IIs. Alright. So then the sick, the, these two will converge and go into there. And then That looks good. I like that. Okay. 
when we put when we put some walls and stuff down, that won't look too bad. So like this. Actually, gonna go way down there. Are walls less expensive or more expensive? The concrete. I'm actually just gonna. Well. It's all gonna have a wall on it eventually anyway, but I don't wanna waste too much. You get the idea of how those look. They look like ports in the wall. Okay. Now go ahead and clear these ores up. And then we'll go get some screws for track, <laughs> because that's that's what that's what we have, or that's what we need to build track and with the the thing. Oh, I should also mention too, now that we've lost mo or lost like half of our viewership audience, because <laughs> you know, not everybody goes through the the full hour of this game, which I you know I don't blame them. That's fine. You you watch however much you want to watch. I'm not gonna hold your, or no, I'm not gonna twist your arm and make you watch the entire hour. But uh, yeah, um, we also got to remember too, when boating, that it is possible that we may corrupt the save <laughs> by getting rid of the, um, by getting rid of that mod. Also, this should not go in here. Fortunately. But yeah, just just saying, just for just for future. That uh, shouldn't affect our decision, but I forgot that these got to go all the way down here. I'd mount it to the wall if I could. Yeah, you know, let's go between each station for our mounts. Actually, it looks kind of cool. Yeah, I forgot that we have to... Uh, we have to go down to this end if we want it to work like we want it to work. Look at this there, so... Yeah, it's here. I'll we'll go... One, two... And then make the right corner. The good old, the good old, uh, one, two count. And then we gotta remember, too, that this is not... That that up there, in order for it, for it to be level crossed, we gotta have this. We gotta have two of these, and they're gonna be hanging off the edge, but they'll be in the walls, so... It might not be such a bad deal. Yeah, because if you if you know these these stacker poles, they're uh, they're uh, two meters each. If you need to go four meters up, well, two of them. And then when I pull this to here, oh, that's colorful. Um, when I pull this to here, it's straight and level across. And we're out of reinforced platings. That's okay, we need to uh, go back and get um, stuff for miners anyway. So we'll have to come back here. Hello, big flying manta ray! Hello! You know, I like building out in the desert. There's less... There's less, um... Flora out there to run into. Is it flora? Because fauna's the creatures, right? as the the wildlife and flora is the the, the the plants like the trees the bushes the grass flowers the reason I say that is because well the flora uh, florist shop sells flowers so that's why I say flora is the I'm pretty sure I'm right <laughs> I'm sure I'll be corrected if I'm not 
Uh, oh, we ran out of power at some point. Did we? Yeah, we ran out of power not too long ago. I completely forgot. Hopefully we have six slots available. We should. You guys excited for winter? I know I definitely am. I love winter. And I don't have any slots left. Uh, hang on, that's gonna suck. We're gonna the farthest ones first. So, we go one, two, three, four, so this one. We gotta go make more. Or make more, we gotta go grab more. Grab another one. Yeah, fill these one by one because my inventory is so full. And it's full because I need, I need screws like crazy. There's that one. Okay, there's that one. And there's that one. And this one should be full. Yeah, okay. So then we'll just get some power back. Yeah, it looks like if we lose two of them. Uh, if we lose one, it's okay, but if we lose two, um, it's a bad day. One's okay, two is a bad day. Nice. <laughs> that was unintentional. I got two more, uh, uh, 200 more of those, and then I can keep, it'll just keep going. Because we need these for our plates and such. But yeah, so because we have a poll going on, I'm not going to lock it any more recipes. Definitely not. Um, should have left that iron at the thing. That raw iron there. Uh, I'm not going to make biomass right now. We'll put the leaves and the wood and, the, and that away. And that. Um... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so what we need now is... Need some reinforced platings which are being made over here. The reason I never hooked a box up to these is so that this stuff can back up. That's why. Okay. So... I'm gonna keep that copper ore and I'm gonna put it in that train station. Shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, um, I love winter because as, as my saying goes, my saying, well, it's not my saying, I mean, as I say, I guess. It's a better way to put it, as I always say. Um, but as many people have also said in the past, um, that when it comes to when it comes to temperature and clothing, uh, <laughs> that uh, you can uh, always put on more layers, but you can't take your skin off. So, because uh, yeah, in the during the winter time, you put on more layers. You can always layer up, and as long as you do it correctly, um, you'll be fine. There's uh, incorrect ways of doing that. Um, but, uh, you, during the summertime, if it's too hot, which it gets, it gets fairly hot here. I wouldn't say it's the hottest place in the world, or hottest place in the world. Of course it's not. Um, I wouldn't say the hottest place in the U.S. Uh, but we definitely get pretty warm. Like, we, we've got the, we've got the best and the worst of, um, of, uh, weather. Like we get we get fairly hot in the summertime. Definitely not the hottest place, but it's definitely there. Um, it's definitely up there. Like um, during the summer, we we usually peak around 103, 105 um, Fahrenheit. Which uh, I'm not exactly sure what that's in Celsius, but uh, you know, there's always Google <laughs> if you want to know. 
that in Celsius. Um, I need to belt, continue belting this. I'm going to put this in here. Um, so there's that. And then during the winter time, we get down below freezing. Uh, we get down below um, 32. Like uh, our lows usually hit, can, can end up in the negatives actually. The negatives Fahrenheit. So just based on that, you could probably figure out close to my geographical location in the U.S. <laughs> just because we, like I said, we have we have the best and we have the worst of both worlds. So yeah, we have the best and the worst when it comes to that stuff. Okay, cool. Oh, and I forgot the miners. Dang it. Dang it. Forgot those mining. <laughs> and I forgot that I can't place this. <laughs> Crap. Powerful. We'll just remove these. Oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to hook up all the belts again. Dang it. Oh well. That's fine. At least it wasn't much. At least it didn't have it hooked up to miners or anything. Have to replace those as well. Yeah, we'll just we'll just put them back, it's fine. But yeah, I forgot that I need to put power poles in. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Put on our uh, upgradable freight. I don't want to go falling off the edge. There we go. They're back. Okay, logistics, conveyor belt mark two. I also think it's fun too that uh, we got the covered belts um, as well, because then it'd be like, yeah, the if there's like local bandits or something, they couldn't get to our stuff, right? Uh, because uh, the materials being belted through these non or non penetrable tubes. I guess it'd make more if they make more sense if they were iron, but I, I like the bendable ones outside. When they're not really um, part of the whole thing. Okay, so let's go get some miners because I completely forgot. Whoosh. Yes, I had completely forgot. There's one thing I'm going to do as well while I I'll head over there. Um, yeah, this will stay in here until we get everything. Everything over there, essentially. Okay, that's a conveyor splitter, which it was going down this way. Uh, so we'll have that back. Um, 
that can stay there for now. We're going to be getting rid of it anyway. Uh, conveyor merger. Okay, conveyor belt mark two. I doubt that'll ever be able to move. Well, I mean, it will be able to move, I guess. I suppose. But yeah, we need to empty this train station. That's why that one's there. I wonder, do you take damage when you land on the belt? From a high distance? Yes. Yes, you do. I've actually never fallen from a distance onto a belt before. I've always just fell a distance onto the ground or onto foundation just never never directly onto a belt before I got almost 900 hours in this game and I'm just now questioning something like this <laughs> uh, okay, let's grab that concrete Dang it, take my iron I got an auto clicker. That's not working. Does this take a bunch of iron? Yes, it does. Hey, take my iron ore. There you go. Okay. Um. Yes. So I need these miners. I need two, three, four. Okay. That'll actually. Actually, was that perfect? I thought that was. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Swing by and grab us some more concrete. There might be a few in there. Yeah. Alright, let's go. So yeah, this, this ain't gonna be too bad. Two stops for iron. I think we should make at least two stops for copper. I, I just don't know. Uh, we might have to make even more stops for copper. Copper is gonna be a really hard one to get a hold of. Um... Because uh, copper usually isn't in a bunch of nodes like it is out here uh, for iron. It's usually in a few nodes. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's usually in a, just a few nodes. Like one here, one there, and there might be like two close by. Um. It isn't common to have copper next to each other because copper usually isn't usually isn't something that's used a lot in this game. But yeah, we'll just have to we'll just have to deal. Um, yeah, we got more than enough. Okay. Except we're gonna face this, so we'll face this to the north. It looks like it's facing to the north already. Good. And then the other one. We're going to face that one to the north as well. I usually like to face the miners in north, south, east, or west. So, Actually, we've been facing them to the south, but I'm facing north when I place them. That's why I say that. That makes more sense. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, these ones are only 30 because they're impure. So... So yeah, I might have, let's see, conveyor, conveyor merger. This will merge it into 60 at, at the very least. Okay. So we're going to need room. There. All right. So then we'll get a covered belt, because that was 60. Covered belt. a little bit weird, but it works. And then when they combine, we'll just have them go to Mark 2, so it's fine. Because it's already Mark 2. Okay. Uh, 
we're going to combine these before they even get over here, so. Um, let's see. Yeah, compare about Mark II. I'm going to bring this. Let's see. Oh, we could bring that right to that miner. We could face that miner to, to the east. Stop laughing over there. I know I'm not good at building, but come on, man. It's not nice. There we go. This one over here will face the same way. These are both 60s, so we'll have to use a 120, which is just fine with us, because we're already set up for that. There we go. So I'm going to put the belt right there. And we're going to put the merger right there. And we'll do that to that. Hey, that worked out pretty well, actually. Run that to that. There we go. And we'll bring this one down. Oh, we're out of uh, reinforced plating. Do we get some reinforced plating? Fortunately. And our absurdly small <laughs> freaking inventory size. Has this been done drained yet? I don't think so. I was trying to see if I could see it from here. Nope, still got iron in it. So we'll just have to deal. Grab some more reinforced plate, finish that off, and then we'll power both of, or all four of those miners. Uh, get them mining. And then we'll hook up, we'll try and see if we can have enough screws to loop. Uh, to at least go from one station to the next, and then from that station. Um, from that station over to the track. And over to there where all of our iron needs to be delivered. Um, I'm gonna give you a stack of screws so that you can make a, make me a little bit faster on those. And then I'm gonna go grab a stack of screws. Um, I'm just gonna grab all the screws. All the screws it had stored up. How fast does this update? Not very quickly. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it takes about 30 seconds, it looks like. It refreshes every 30 seconds. That's not too bad. I mean, that, that does make the memory a little bit easier. Or it's a little bit easier on the old game. <laughs> that guy's still vibrating over there. Let's get stuck on my belts. Vibrating away. Man, that's so bad if you take that out of context. <laughs> that is so weird. It's a weird sense. Guy keeps getting stuck on my belt, so I, and he just sits there and vibrates away. <laughs> that one's still stuck underneath my platform, the fucking jump scare asshole over there. <laughs> Sticking his head through my concrete and scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> Gotta love it though, that was funny. This is like, I did I had no freaking clue either. Let's 
So one, two. This kind of took a guess. That wasn't too bad of a corner. There we go. Okay. So now we're gonna go two. I'm gonna pull a power pole here. And then pull a power pole there. Connect up to that. Now we're gonna pull a power pole from there up onto this merger. And then go to that one. Pull the power pole this way, this way, and then up there. Okay, a little bit awkward. Actually, I might just go from this one to that one instead. Okay, then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take my take my power poles on a little bit of a journey. Up this way. Because so we gotta go around to the front of the train station and then we gotta go up. See, so we gotta go to here. And then up there. Because I don't have any wall outlets or anything, and having them stick up like this on the side of the wall is kinda weird. Actually, I can just get rid of that because I can just connect to it. Is, is there a way to get up on these train stations? Did I buy the ladder yet? I have not. Okay. It's a very expensive way to get up there. Because there's no ladder or anything. Where's that trying to go? Oh, it threw me off. But I could still get up there. Good thing I had to place this one. That's a little high. And now I realize that I placed these power poles there for no reason. Let's see, can I pay? Because we gotta go up and over this. And the reason we have to go up and over this. Um, Is because the, the the poles are not power or not tall enough, not powerful enough. The poles are not tall enough uh, for the train. So if you bring your poles up and over the train station, if they need to be on the other side, um, then you'll be uh, in a lot better shape. Probably could have brought that down, like, there, but we'll do that when we get over there, I guess. Yeah, all of our miners should be... Oh, no. I was going to say, they should be powered up. I have completely forgot. We actually got to hook a track to this bad boy. Because that's how we'll transfer power. Okay. So I guess, yeah, we'll work on that next. So we got to bring a track from there over to here without being too crazy with it. But uh, essentially what I got to do is I got to put a foundation, or no, I got to bring a track first. Mm, you know what we could do? Because I gotta make a, a split here. I'm gonna connect to that track right there by making a Y or making an intersection. So let's see. It has too sharp of a turn. Wait, did it grab onto the wrong side? Oh, it did. That's why. There you go. 
See, I'm thinking... Probably right about here. Maybe. Um, we'll just put a flat foundation because we got to go back up. But if we put one like right there... see how well that worked. I can tell that didn't go well. Well, maybe not. Maybe it worked out. Okay. Yeah, that's, I mean, needs about one meter height, I think. It's about one meter height. Let's give it a one meter height. That's a bit better. I like that. Okay. That's that's much better. Alright, so now we need to get this track. Alright, we need to get this track over there. So I am going to go right to the top of that hillside. And I'm gonna put a one meter. So yeah, let's go to the top of this hillside here. We need to continue going. Well, actually, I wonder. Yeah, we still need to continue going up. Okay. I'll do a one meter ramp here. And the only reason I'm going this short with the with the support here is so that I can get this track relatively uh, I can get this track relatively straight there we go because we did have a little bit of a divot but I couldn't go any higher uh, if I wanted those to match up there the two tracks where they kind of they kind of clip into each other um, if I wanted that to be somewhat look is to look somewhat decent, and I'd have to uh, bring those two tracks together um, at a lower at a lower point. I think that's too long. Yeah, that's way too long already. So we're gonna go until we're just about out of track. So we probably want to put. I probably want to keep this going straight. So. Um, I right about there. I think that's still on. That's still in line. Yeah. Let's see what it'll do. Is it'll level off when it comes up to this point? Because that's well, that's a little bit higher than the track. But because of the hillside. There we go. One big piece, just going straight there. Cool. Get rid of some of these bushes here underneath. A little too close. Okay, and then just like before, uh, let's go ahead and decorate a little bit. I really do like putting these beams underneath these small beams. The small beams are not too big, uh, not too wide, I mean, uh, and they do relatively fit uh, our track here. Uh, let me put that on zoop mode. So we can just snap those underneath. I, I love this feature. Somebody had to have suggested this, you know. Or they came up with, the, up with it themselves, maybe. Well, it'd be really cool, but I don't know if... I don't think they'd be able to do it. 
as if uh, uh, they had the the tracks came with automatic, um, like an automatic uh, uh, standard support. That'd be really cool. Doubt that would be possible though, because a little close to the ground. That's okay. Just gonna put one every um, every piece of track. That'll look too bad. Yeah, that'll look too bad. Keeps it just elevated. We'll make this look better, don't worry. I just don't have the concrete to do it right now. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. See, now that we got that track there, we have power to everything without having to pull power lines a million miles. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, once these all fill up, um, that'll be nice. And we're gonna make this stop. So the train, what it's gonna do is it's gonna come down this track first, and then it's gonna come this way, so. Yeah, so we're gonna make, name this uh, Iron Mine 1 because the other one's Iron Mine 2. So Iron Mine 2. Okay. And now we just gotta get this track to connect with that other track and I'm thinking about following that valley down there. Um, down at the bottom and then coming back up. I think that'd be a pretty cool location for our track to go. But how many screws do we have? We don't have many screws left, so um, and each section of track at maximum length I think costs us about 500 screws. <laughs> it's really crazy. Um, actually, no. Right there, it's gonna be max. Yeah, so I want to follow that valley. Um, foundation. Let's see if we'll put a foundation piece. Um, we'll put it right there. And then I'm going to keep this elevated. Just a little bit. Uh, going down into this valley. So it's not too slopey and too roller coaster style. Should be able to. I'm actually going to put a uh, another one meter ramp on that. Let's see, it's going to be. Would that be the best slope, or would this be the best slope? Um, maybe this way. It's hard to do it because it's all on a grid, um, and it's coming in at an angle. So those were always the hardest. So I'm going to get a. Foundation there. Okay. I'm gonna go down and fight this this person over here. Fight me, bro. Oh, I didn't jump a time. Oh, the tree stopped me from elevating. <laughs> I was gonna do another like quick maneuver over the top of him, but I got stopped by a tree. Let's grab that. I 
guess the cool thing is, is we don't have to worry about, um, we don't have to worry about the clipping in this one because the, these aren't staying here. Um, the supports. And also, too, uh, another tip for building track. If you got, if you're gonna have slopes and stuff in yours, that's going to be unchecked by foundations. Um, another trick to it too is to always have your track, um, always have your track in long sections. Try to avoid short sections where you can, because that'll give a more smooth ride for the train. So if you want it to slope. You know, nice and smooth. You don't want it to have super hard dips and stuff. That's why I'm using the the one meter ramps or two meter ramps. Two meters is the most you can use uh, for a track. But using the one meter ramps uh, in sections and two meter ramps in sections as well, where they, where it gets a bit steeper. I tried not to go too steep. Like here is a little bit too steep, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it's a little bit steeper on this side. Um, but yeah, I should have used a two meter ramp right there. Um, but I'm too lazy to fix it. <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, we need more screws. We need tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. So many screws. We just need all the screws. And then we can get a basic line set up. Um, once we can get a basic line set up, then we can, uh, tear all this down. Because I'm just going to run a belt. Uh, oops, I'm just going to run a belt clear across the the middle of the street there. I'm just going to run a, an iron belt all the way down to here, uh, so that we can keep this little this little factory thing going. Um, I'll just run a straight belt, and then I can get rid of all of that up there. I think that'll be really nice. Okay, yeah, we got we got some we got some more screws, not too many, but we got a few more. Oh, this is out of screws. Yeah, this thing's still going. How's this done? Yeah, this thing's slowest is the screws. Um, but I'm not gonna put another machine of screw <laughs> or another machine for screws up there. If all these machines are going at once, we're at our max for iron, so. I'm just going to leave well enough alone. Okay, we'll grab some more concrete while we're here as well. Or while we're here as well. English. Can get rid of this. I'm not using this. Wait, why is this going around? Did this just make a circle? Yeah, this just makes a circle. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. Like, we don't need it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. Then we'll go boop, and then we'll go boop. Okay, that connects everything else down there. Here pretty soon we won't need that. Uh, we won't need this long pole going down to the train. Because the train tracks will carry the power for us. That'd be really nice. Wait, how are these all unpowered? Is this such a mess that this is just all unpowered now? Oh, did it get power from... No, it gets power from here. I guess it's just that much of a mess. Okay, that goes to this pole. That goes to this pole. And um, this pole's disconnected, so... And yeah, that goes to that pole. <laughs> it is such a mess down here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, that did nothing. Wait, what? How are these powered? Okay, that goes this way. And then... No, can't connect to there. Connect to it. No, can't connect to that. Okay. Uh, 
There, that powers everything else. Okay. It's a real spider web down here. Okay, uh, concrete. That's what we wanted. Do I have any screws in here? No, okay. Let's scrap some more concrete. We need that anyway for later. Oh, we're over our hour mark. Dang it. Well, let's go a little bit longer. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to do it. We'll get our train a little bit further along anyway. I didn't think that would take that long, <laughs> to be honest. I know you guys don't have to sit here and watch. You don't, I don't, shouldn't be making you sit here and watch everything, but oh, it's fun. Uh, it's fun to me. Um, if I get to be tortured, you guys, you guys get to little, be a little bit of torture with me. Is that fair? <laughs> Probably not. No, that's not fair. It is okay though, I think. Actually, I'm gonna build this a little bit backwards. So let's go foundation. Um, let's get the foundation here. Um. I'm going to go take down this tree and bush and stuff. This is going to be right in the way. Hey, you can't grab leaves anymore while holding the chainsaw. Unless that's a mod doing, causing that to break. Since I'm playing with mods, it's kind of hard to question what it could be. What, uh, yeah, when you're having issues, what, what those issues could be. Okay, I do not want that to be like that, so we're going to put a foundation over there instead. Because the, it was going to end up making me snake through. What the... Oh, I can't afford it. We had enough screws by now. I was gonna, and then I was gonna go straight that way with it. Dang. Well, I guess that'll have to be. It might just have to be next time, because we just don't have the materials. over time. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to work. We made a little bit of progress, but it's just, it's going to be slow. It's just going to continue and continue to be slow all the time because we need materials like crazy. And this doesn't, this doesn't take too long with the concrete. I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but um, it just, I haven't had time to, you know, leave my game on and build up resources per se, really. Um, so, it's just going to take, it's just going to take time, it's going to keep taking time. Yeah, we barely have enough screws to do anything. Well, yes, it is true that if I was to um, uh, if I was to build, actually start building my machines, I'd actually have um, <laughs> I'd actually have enough screws. It's gonna take forever. Let's make biomass. <laughs> I guess we'll just make biomass. But yeah, um, I think this is going to be it for the episode. And we really don't have a whole lot to do. Or we have a whole lot to do, but we just don't have a lot, whole lot of ability to do it, I guess. That's uh, the thing there. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty much going to be it. And uh, maybe next time we'll get that train train line finished and such. And 
what not. And then we can actually get to the actual... Um, we'll have to do copper as well, but... Uh, copper hopefully shouldn't take as long. I'm still going to build a big train station. The big train stations like that, but... Uh, maybe that's not needed. But uh, we have the ability to go over boats. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess that is going to be it. And until next time... When we have some more fun with this game. But, uh, yeah. Until then, I guess I'd say goodbye.